everyone welcome to my channel so today I'm doing a mukbang I'm going to KFC uh, Wow, I just realized I sounded so annoying and obnoxious I like, um, so I'm going to KFC right now because um, you guys asked for a mukbang styled Q&A so that's what I'm doing for you all today honestly I am so hungry it is 5 p.m. in the afternoon the last time I ate was at 8 a.m. and I had two pieces of toast. What kind of weak breakfast is that? I'm just like here for the KFC, honestly. Like, oh, get out of my way. Um, honestly, like, I was thinking of all the different cuisines I could eat, and then I was like, you know what? I'm Australian. I'm gonna have a good fashioned KFC meal. That's what we're doing today. So, let's go. If the traffic's bad, I'm going to be pissed off because I can't physically wait any longer. <laughs> but I do have some very, very juicy questions to answer today. I asked you guys to ask me questions on Twitter. So that's what's popping this evening, girl. I just found out that there is a KFC like six minutes away from my house. I fully thought I was driving for like 20 minutes. And then I looked on Google Maps and I'm like already here. Like I feel like that's very dangerous that I live this close to a KFC. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm so excited. I could literally cry. Please make shorter. Hi. Hi. Please make shorter. Oh, yeah. Hi, can I please get the ultimate zinger box meal in large with a yep. solo? Uh, with a solo and also a cookies and uh, cream crusher. Actually, a golden gay time crusher. Yes, please. Yep, and a golden gay time crusher. Yes, please. Yeah, just for, um, reference we only do golden gay times now like most kfc's then oh. okay and also a solo please a bottle or can a bottle please yes a bottle for today um also can i please get the um spicy hot twister yep and what's it all for today um yes, six, all for today? Uh, six nuggets please as well yep just right down please. thank you Oh my god, she said it's at all today like a fucking million times. Like, obviously, it's not all today. Thanks. Patience, mate. Thanks so much. Merry Thanks so much. Oh. Okay, she gave me an extra drink. Like, I'm really mad. I thought she didn't hear me the first time. I feel like she's stressed, though. Like, it's fine. Like me. Thank you. Wow. Honestly, I've never seen people that stressed in my life. That was a lot to take in. Wow. Golden Gay Time Crusher. So good. Um, it's a great way to feed the acne on the face. That's like I always complain about like having bad breakouts and here I am drinking dairy. Oh my god, so I think I can't even suck her up. Mmm. Oh my god, they didn't give me my twister thing. Fucking hell. Oh, honestly, I can't even be bothered. Like, I just paid $35 and all I got was an ultimate box meal and nuggets. Okay, so I'm gonna dip into my nuggies first. I might go back around later because I have to get Haley's stuff and I'll just be like, you didn't give me my like wrap. That's so awkward though. Oh my god. My mouth is watering so much. Mm. What? The actual dog. These are not normal. They're the best nuggets known to mankind. 100%. Wow. I'm very happy. Potato and gravy. How good is the potato and gravy from here? Let me know in the comments below. Do you eat this on its own or do you dip your chips in there? When I got my wisdom teeth taken out, this is all I ate. Which are the only thing. Oh my. Oh. I can't burp in front of my boyfriend because he finds it really gross. What a loser. So I feel like I've trained myself to not like burp. Like, what is wrong with me? Let's get some questions up. Wow, I've just been like too busy eating that I haven't even like answered a question, love. Oh my God, this has so many likes on it. 
It's a very interesting question. So it says, has your ex tried hitting you up since your breakup or since you've been with your new man? Okay, so me and Jonathan left on like normal terms, like civil. Um, but the only thing, like I've only spoken to him a few times and that's been about work because he used to be my manager and we used to like do a few work things together. That's the only thing we've really spoken about. But it's like, we have no bad blood. Like, it's totally fine. It's just like, obviously when you move on, it's kind of best to like leave the past in the past, but like still appreciate everything. Like, like I don't have a bad thing to say about him. I never will. So what's that? And it's just like nothing. There's nothing else I can say. It's just like, that's all. The next question is, is your boyfriend moving in with you in Melbourne? No. So if you guys that um, don't already know, I'm moving to Melbourne because my boyfriend is in a contract in Melbourne so he like physically can't move um, so the only option was to either do long distance or me move and um, oh my god these nugs are so good when as I said in my last video if you guys haven't seen it like long distance is honestly horrible like I suck so bad at it like I'm the type of person that like I don't need to be around someone all the time but I need to know that I can be with them if I want to be with them like that day you know what I mean like Going like a few weeks without seeing him, I, I started to get angry at him. And I'm like, this is so not normal. This is so unhealthy. And I'm like, if I have the luxury of being able to work wherever I want to work in the in the world, then why don't I just move? Like, I feel like it's a good thing for me to like change up the scenery anyway. Excuse me. Because I've been like living in Brisbane for so long. I feel like this will help me grow and like come out of my comfort zone. So I feel like there's a lot of different things that would... Ben like I'd benefit from living there anyway so I was like okay I'm gonna make the move it was honestly such a big decision like it was like months of me being like yes I'm gonna move the next day I was like no like literally every single day for like two months I was like yes no yes no and by the end of it he was like oh my god like he, he was like there's no way she's moving because I kept being like yes no zinger burger oh my god these are the best burgers ever <laughs> What the hell? Man, look at these things that I brought to the yard. They're like, it's better than yours. I'm so annoying. The next question that I get a lot is what happened to SG the label? So I came out with a label like a year or something or two years ago and me and Michael did merch and that's all gone. And we did watches and that's all gone. I just never like restocked them. I just wanted to like, I wanted to do watches for a little bit, see how it would go. Obviously it was not something that I was like overly passionate about so I obviously didn't get any more in and like the merch like it's all gone so like I didn't we didn't want to restock that either like merch is something that like you kind of sell once and then you just like move on and you do something else but um yeah it's she's dead bye I wanted to come out with a whole new like company I didn't want to do SG swim I feel like that's like not as cute you know I'm such a pig. Oh my god. I'm so ready to answer this question. Okay, so the next question is, have you ever been sexually confused? That's so interesting because there was a time where I was like hooking up with a girl and I was like, this is amazing. Here we are, Bindi. I like girls as well. That sounds so weird saying it on camera because I've never said it before. Um, I definitely don't see myself like long term with a girl. But yeah, I was like seeing a girl for like a month or something. And it was really fun. But I don't know. I see myself marrying like a guy and having kids with a guy. But um, I'm definitely like open to like having fun with a girl. You know what I mean? And I did. And it was great. And like, yeah, now I'm like dating a guy because I don't know. I just don't think I could ever date a girl. But yeah definitely had my moment it's so funny because when i was um seeing a girl my friend rani was like full straight like she said she was straight <laughs> and then like a few months later she full comes out as bi i'm like oh my god i'm so proud of you she's like you helped me so much like realized that she was i'm like that's amazing it was like a really confusing time in my life as well because like a few of my friends weren't overly supportive of it i told my mom I told my dad, I told my brother, I actually told everyone. I'm like, I'm seeing a girl. I said it so casually because I'm like, surely it doesn't have to be a big deal. Like, it's not. Like, it's not a big deal. But, like, I was really nervous telling them because I'm like, oh, my God. Like, what if they think differently of me? Until you guys have lots of questions for me. Wow, there's so many questions about Tommy. This is cute because I don't really talk about it much, but I feel like I want to. Um, 
Did you click with Tommy straight away? Or was it awkward at first? So I met Tommy through my friends because he lived with Chloe and Mitch. And I was like, oh my God, this guy is so fucking hot. Like who is this sexy guy sitting on the couch? Like, hello? In my mind, I was like, nah, like nothing can happen. So like for the next week, I was like, He'd be sitting on the lounge and I'll just be like staring at him like, holy shit, like this is so hard. Like he's so attractive and I know nothing can happen. So I was just kind of sitting there like battling my own mind. Like, no, Shani, don't, Shani, don't. <laughs> Stop looking at him, Shani. And I'm like, fuck. It was the worst. And then eventually I noticed that he was kind of like, we were kind of like vibing off each other. And we we're like, we obviously were like talking a lot and we we're getting along really well. But we were never really like flirting. Because we both knew that nothing could really happen. And then we went out for drinks one time. We went bowling and drinks. And I was like, fuck this. I'm so done not making a move. Like, I'm literally obsessed with him. Like, it's not even normal. Like, what is wrong with me? So I started flirting with him. And then he started flirting back. And I was, like, living my best life. I was like, holy shit. This is honestly the best thing that's ever happened to me. Like, I was so happy in my element. And I don't know. There was just something about him that I was, like, so obsessed with. And I was like, I need to see where this is going to go. So... Yeah, he was, like, vibing back with me, and that's kind of how it started. Um, I'll talk about it more in detail, like, in another video, but, yeah. At the start, it was kind of, like, we were just, like, friendly with each other. Like, we lived in the same house. Like, I was at Chloe's house for a few weeks, so we were in the same place, like, all the time. And I was just, like, I have to make something happen eventually, but for right now, I'm going to keep my cool. But that's what I was thinking the whole time. I was, like, something has to happen. Like, I can't deal with this anymore. <sighs> And, like, I remember telling, like, Mitch and Chloe, like, oh, my God, what do I do? I'm so obsessed with him. They're like, nah, there's no chance. There's no chance anything's going to happen. And I'm like, oh, my God, and I was actually so sad. But here we are, Bindi. And that, my friend, is all I'm answering about Tommy because he has got enough attention in this video. Thank you. Last question we have is, did you ever picture yourself this successful when... Wow, I can't even speak. This successful when you were younger. No way. I never, I literally never even knew, like, I never even had any dreams when I was younger. I was always like, oh, like, maybe I want to be a model or maybe I want to do this or that. But there was never anything that I was, like, full dead serious about. And, like, starting YouTube, I never knew that it could turn into a job. I literally used to watch, like, a few different YouTubers, like, Crispy, like, do makeup tutorials, Lauren Curtis. And, like, I just used to watch them because I got bored. And, like, because I've always had, like, a smaller friendship group, I got a bit bored on weekends sometime sometimes so i started like filming videos and like i literally i didn't think anything of it i started getting views and stuff i'm like oh my god this is so cool so i pretty much just did it in my spare time not thinking anything of it and then all of a sudden like here we are like hello it's just been a lot of like dedication a lot of hard work and just the best like five years of my life honestly i'm so content oh, it's not even funny i really wanted that wrap Oh. Can KFC give me a refund? If anyone's watching this, it works KFC. Can I have $13 back, please? <laughs> I'm kidding. Anyways, guys, that is all for today's mukbang. Um, I'm going to leave the rest of my little sister with some chippies and a little bit of a burger and some naggies left. Probably going to eat a few more, not going to lie, but... um. Yeah, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up because it helps me out so much. I love you guys so much. If you have any more questions, make sure you follow me on Twitter because that's where I ask you guys to ask me questions. It's just at Shiny Grimmin. I love you guys and I'll see you soon. Bye.